Uh, my name is DJ Mekalek. Uh, I am a DJ and producer, and I grew up in Rhode Island. I did a six year stint in Los Angeles, but as you can tell, this is not Los Angeles anymore. This is Rhode Island. Uh, you know, what inspires me, I guess, is kind of a ever changing uh, answer. You know, when I was younger, I think musically it was like always it was just music. You know, I grew up started listening to rap in the late 80s so it's like everything that dropped was just revolutionary it was all new every time you know NWA public enemy whatever it was you know and it was like in its nascent stages so everything you heard was brand new and um, you know then I got into the DJ thing and it was mixtapes and uh, I guess you know when you get older the more life experiences you have it's like the things that inspire you change and now I guess it's more of, you know, kind of like intangibles, you know, it's not necessarily just listening to music, it's like a feeling you get from music or a feeling you get from, you know, people or relationships or whatever it is, you try to convert that into something creative, something musical. When uh, the first time I heard They Reminisce Over You by um, P-Rock and C.L. Smooth, you know, it's it's one of these intangibles. It's not something you can kind of quantify. And I can convey it to you and, and make you understand, like, the feeling of it. But I just remember being in my room and, uh, you know, I just bought this little stereo and uh, I taped They Reminisce Over You off. 90.3, which was the college radio station that I grew up listening to, and eventually I was lucky enough to do a show on, and uh, I taped it off there, and I can't, I can't even explain how many times I ran that song back. There was just something, I'm getting the chills right now even, might have to do with the rain and the cold, but I'm getting the chills just thinking about it, like the first times that I heard that song, there's just something so, like, you know, otherworldly about it, and it just resonated with me so hard, and, you know, just the way they put the song together, the meaning behind it, the beat, the lyrics, the overall feel, just like, you, you feel it in your heart, you know, and I'll never forget that. Um, I'm in a group called Time Machine, I'm a DJ producer for uh, Time Machine, and, uh, you know, this was a little little while ago at this point, but we got to perform in uh, Tokyo, Japan, and Shibuya. And uh, we had a really big following out there, for whatever the reason, big in Japan. And, uh, you know, when we, our show in Tokyo, when we stepped out on stage, um, it was just, it was sold out and there was just this electric feeling, you know, there everyone was packed in there like sardines and I'm up there with my two, you know, good friends who, you know, one, one kid who I've known since I was 16, 15 and I'm just looking around and I'm like, this is just surreal, like these kids want to hear my music, our music and Truth be told, they don't even really know what is being said. They just feel it some like to that extent, and they were just going crazy. And that was just, you know, that's something I can never, you know, let go of. That that is that's something beautiful, something I never thought would ever happen. Think probably slightly differently than uh, than maybe others that think more practically. Um, and uh, you know, I pretty extreme, you know, obsessive, obsessive compulsive, whatever it is, and, you know, the kind of, the fight to kind of accept that what I'm doing is good enough, that is something, I mean, that's, that's a challenge I'm still dealing with, you know, the kind of, nothing's ever good enough, be hard on yourself, it helps because it pushes you, but, on the same token, it's like it's a, it's a never-ending battle with yourself, with your creativity, you know, with you as a person. I know there's people out there who know what I'm talking about. So, if I could, you know, I've done my best to put, you know, as much of myself into everything that I've done, and to be 
as careful as I can with stuff that I put out because I know that it's a privilege to be able to make music and to be able to contribute to, you know, the culture, the music that is hip-hop and as long as that's reflected in, in my music when people listen to it, as long as it's something of that resonates, like, man, this dude, this dude cared about what he did, I can tell he cared about what he did and it sounds good to me and it makes me feel a certain way, it's all I could ever ask for. We just put out a mixtape called Vicious Experiments. I'm working on uh, an album almost done with my man Big Name from Rhode Island. He's on Live and Learn. He did the title track. And my man King Gutta from New York City. And um, taking my time with it, trying to make the absolute best possible music that I can. Just keep listening to good music, man. Whatever you think is good music doesn't have to be mine. Just listen to stuff that you feel in your heart. You feel you know, makes an impact on you because uh, that actually matters. Not what someone else tells you to like or says it's cool. If it resonates with you, man, just stick with it.